everybody welcome back to the wonder of anime youtube channel my name is lisa and for today's video i thought i would do another anime tag question i have a video maybe from like two years ago when i did an anime tag that i believe had different questions i kind of looked through this and i didn't see any questions that i thought i've answered all before and then I also started doing like an anime tag challenge where every video was a question, but I lost those questions. So whatever, I <laughs> am just gonna go ahead and do this. I thought the questions were kind of interesting and I would love to see my other fellow anime community people answer these questions. I've seen it like in a blog post. I don't know if people made videos with these questions. Uh, I always love answering questions, especially when they're not like the same old questions all the time. I don't know how many questions these are because I'm going to skip some of these. I didn't like all of them, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Number one is who is your favorite male anime character? Um, I have a lot. <laughs> I... I have like my favorite male character, but it's more from the manga than the anime. So I'm not going to say that one right now. I would think in terms of, Ooh, this is hard because I like, I'm trying not to pick like my simp answer. Like, I feel like that's a completely different question right now. I say one of my favorite male characters is Hanada from Haikyuu. I just started Haikyuu. I started Haikyuu and then I made myself like three Haikyuu sweaters and I own all this merch. I haven't even finished the first season. I would definitely say Hanada is one of them. I just think he is so positive and happy and like he works really, really hard. Like I think he's doing such a great job. Um, his whole backstory, getting wanting to get into volleyball and I just love that energy. Like he just made me smile and happy. <laughs> like all the episodes that I watch um, of him. So that's definitely one of my favorite male characters. There's so many, but I'm just gonna like pick like currently, I guess from what I'm watching. Favorite female character? Mm hmm. I just love everybody too. Like this is hard because I really love everybody. Like I think there are so many amazing female characters in anime right now. Right now, I'm watching Komi Can't Communicate and I absolutely love Komi. I I think she is so cute and adorable and her struggles with social anxiety are so relatable. I, I'm like, girl, you're, you're so cute. <laughs> Your favorite anime soundtrack. There are so many because there are so many great anime soundtracks. Right now, I just cannot stop listening to the Given album. If you see my previous video, if you follow me on social media, like I just did a given rewatch last night for absolutely no reason. Like I never rewatch anime and I'm just like obsessed with given, but the given, the given soundtrack, all the music that comes from given is just chefs, really, really, really chef's kiss. It obviously is like a musical anime, but it's just amazing. I like it's music that's good and it's not just good because it's like from the show and you think about the show like it's just good music other than that of course we got like the studio um ghibli stuff the attack on titan soundtracks will have you like crying laughing ready for war ready for depression like <laughs> those are good too what is your favorite anime opening in animation there's so many animes i've watched so many animes so for this answer specifically i'm going to pick an uh, anime that is currently airing this doesn't mean this is my favorite ever but just from what i'm watching right now and that is from the night beyond the tri-cornered window it is a bl manga that got adapted into an anime this fall 20 21 and i love it i think it's so good i know a lot of people have mixed opinions but y'all know i'm in my fajoshi bag so i stand but the the op is a song from i have it already like in my playlist it's called psyka by frederick and i think the art is so beautiful in the animation and the song is like really good on the anime but then the entire full length song is so so good like i have been playing it on repeat because it i i love when you like watch an anime and you're like damn this op is mad good and then you listen to it and it just the full version just blows you out of the water like that's how i felt with that but i would say from this um 
2021 fall season that is definitely one of my favorites what is your favorite anime ending song in animation oh i i don't i like comey can't communicate i like the end of that and i love how some episodes i love when an anime does this where like they don't always use the end animation like sometimes they be having their own different animation love that or like they continue the episode in the last i would say that what is your favorite anime scene a scene in an, there's so many i'm gonna do general i would say um obviously because any genre has its tropes so there are certain scenes that you can find um in any anime and one of my favorite when watching slice of life or shoujo um anime is the confession scene that always takes place in school in that little like courtyard area where somebody watching from a window and people are being confessed to i think those sweet those scenes are always so sweet and so tender um and i just it, it's always funny too because from the person in the like that's like looking down on that scene they either like are imagining the wrong thing or or they think something's different happened and then they get in their feels and then there's like a miscommunication so i think those scenes are always uh tender the one that sticks out to my mind right now is um because i just watched given last night is the scene from given where I, I wouldn't say it was like a confession um because I was apologizing to uh UA about like the things that she said about Mafia and that to me I was like oh girl and then Mafia's like watching and you can tell that Mafia felt some type of way because of the guys that Mafia's with is like oh my god da -da -da -da, like he's because she's confessing or whatever and that really kind of wasn't what was going on and I think you know, I'm a sucker for that. I also think too, um, in, I believe it was in Horimiya this year where there was like, um, another courtyard scene. Like they're just so prevalent in so many different animes. Um, and usually like the same thing happens. So I think they're really good. If you could meet an anime character, who would it be? Gojo. Um, that, that's my man. That's my baby daddy. I just want to meet Gojo. <laughs> I would just want to be with him. On a serious, like, not trying to sleep with them vibe, I would love to meet Yuko from XXXholic. Um, more so her manga portrayal, but whatever. I'll take her anime version, too. I just feel like she would drag me. She would give me some fortune. She would... I would become a customer of the shop. And I think that she would just have the incel that I need and that I would love. What anime character is most similar to you in terms of personality? If you've seen my videos, I always reference Risa from Lovely Complex. More so my high school self with how boy crazy she was, how she like wouldn't give up on it, sushi, and she was like, nah, like I'ma confess to you 20 million times because I just don't want to give up on you and every little sign that you give me is hope. I would say definitely her <laughs> from like childhood Lisa, teen Lisa. As an adult, Ooh, it's, I'm trying to think, like, because obviously, like, you think of a badass character, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's me, but just because you admire them, and you love them, um, but not necessarily, like, other people may be like, girl, why, why would you say that? You know, I would say, in terms of personality, like, adult Lisa, definitely Narumi from uh, Wotakoi Love is Hard for Otaku, with how she is an otaku, and not so much her being ashamed of it, because, I, girl, I'm not ashamed of being an otaku, um, but just like her love of like BL and anime and like she plays video games I think definitely her is somebody that I see myself in and she is just like I just think she is so cute uh but not all not all of it because like I said I'm not ashamed of being an otaku and also her relationship with Hirataka like she is you know, I, I think she's realizing her feelings. I'm somebody that's very open and very direct. And that is not very common in, um, like, Japanese culture in terms of, like, somebody being like, hey, like, I want you. These are my feelings. So I can't think of somebody specifically um, that has that, like, parts of myself. Um, I feel like I would be, like, a mosh posh of different people. What is your favorite thing about anime? 
I think my favorite thing about anime is that it can be about anything and there's so many different genres, you know, shonen, shoujo, uh, seinen, Josie, yaoi, like there's so many different genres and there's so many like anime that anybody can find like a niche and sometimes you fall into these little niches and you find some of the best anime for you um I think it's also just some anime is just done in such a way that inspires so many conversations and I really see it like as a unifier in a lot of ways what is your least favorite thing about anime I would say more so in, in terms of like the, the effect that anime has on people where people get super gatekeepy and like I'm special I've been watching anime since utero and it's like bitch me too like <laughs> I definitely know that I get the frustration if you've been watching anime forever and you feel like, oh my God, all these new people are into anime, like they're not real anime fans, but I don't understand how somebody else getting into the medium is like harmful to you. And I, I find like gatekeeping just so annoying. Like it, let it go. Enjoy your anime. I'm not watching anime for other people. Like I'm watching anime for myself. So I could care less if you only seen Demon Slayer and now you're an anime fan or if you seen 300 animes. Like you your enjoyment anime has no effect on my life. Well, who are your favorite anime couples? Who are your favorite anime couples or couple? Is this like one of my always supposed to book one? A real one? What a, what the fake one? Right now, currently. Mafia and UA from Given, the coach from uh, <laughs> the coach from Haikyuu and me. I don't care. We're canon. Uh, we're meant to be together. Um, I don't know. I'm only anime only. Um, but in Komi can't communicate. Komi and Tarano, like, please get together. I love you guys. I want you guys to be together. Uh, Motokoi, Narumi, and uh, Hirataka, like, please, please get together. Just, just please, please. Please do me that favor. Do you think you'll ever stop watching anime? No, I've, it's been 20 something years. Uh, if I was going to give up watching anime, I would have done it a long time ago. I definitely go through phases where like right now I'm watching so much anime. Like I have a lot of weekly animes that I'm watching and I'm always consistently watching a show. And then I go through phases where I don't watch anime for like two, three months. Like it happens, but anime is a huge part of my life. It's my favorite medium, so I mostly just only watch anime, and I don't see that changing. Are you open to watching about watching anime with people you know? There's only certain people that I will watch anime with. I just, anime has always been like a solo activity for me, and it wasn't until like I got older that I found people that like watch the anime. So obviously my soulmate, Rose, me and her been watching anime together since college. We usually watch like, movies together and then like if new stuff is coming out we'll see like whatever available episodes we don't have like a show that we watch together at the same time um uh, my husband oscar we too like have watched anime movies together i we have very different schedules so we don't really have time to watch things together but like if i'm watching something like when i was binging my hero and full metal alchemist like he's seen it before so he would be watching while i was like re-watching but recently we haven't watched anything. And then my friend Tatiana, who is one of my new besties, like me and her will have hangouts where all we do is just we'll watch like an anime movie or two. And then we will check out a couple new anime or like anime that we haven't seen before. We'll see a couple episodes together and then we each individually will watch it and then talk about it. What is your number one favorite anime? That always depends on when you ask me. It's still right now Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I just can't get over it. It's been like two, three years since I watched it. Attack on Titan, I I definitely consider it a favorite, but it's very traumatizing. I'm still very hurt about Attack on Titan. <laughs> so I have not, um, yeah, no. Given, though, Given is getting up there on my list of favorite anime because it's been it literally I never rewatch anime and I've rewatched so many scenes from Given like I said I just rewatched the whole season yesterday I love the movie like Given is up there for me and I would say Yuri on Ice 2 is definitely I haven't rewatched it yet but it's definitely on the list anime has anime made you cry just look at this channel girl anime makes me cry all the time I am I'm a huge crybaby and 
I love that about me. I'm very in tune with my feelings and I have no shame. Which anime made you laugh the hardest? There's so many funny anime, but recently I'm going to say that the life of a high school fundashi is an anime short. It's on VRV or Crunchyroll. It's 12 episodes. Each episode is like three minutes. That anime is so hilarious. It's about a teenage boy who loves boys love manga. And it's just so funny. And it's only three minutes long. And it's hilarious. If you could make a spinoff of any anime, what would it be? I don't know about a spinoff, but I definitely need them to animate um, the rest of Auharu Ride. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. The rest of the manga is so good. And those that first part of the season, like that covers nothing. Please, please, please give us Auharu Ride. List your five top anime OSTs. I'm assuming like openings. Girl, there's a lot. There's so many good ones. I guess in my playlist, I'm going to say right now, Kizu, Kizu Alto from Given. Duh. The Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaiken Kitan, and the other one too. I forgot which one that one is. Iro Kuizi from Horimiya, a fucking bop. And this one is so funny, but it gets me pumped up. And it's funny because I hated it. The first two, three episodes, I was like, this shit fucking sucks. And then it's so funny because everyone on TikTok has had this experience, but it's History Maker from Yuri on Ice. Like the first couple episodes, I'm like, what the hell is this? And then by the last episode, I'm crying every time that song comes on. And if it comes up on the gym, bitch, girl. Mm. Another one that I really like is uh, Unravel from Tokyo Ghoul. I'm a little hesitant to talk about that one because I've only seen two episodes of Tokyo Ghoul, but that song is a masterpiece. It is incredible. It is there's it like I can that song is just one of the best songs ever. Like the composition, the the music, like girl, everything. It's really really good. Um, and reason for living from Bungo Stray Dogs season two. Wait till I do my Bungo Stray Dogs video. Y'all not ready. Favorite sports anime, Run With The Wind. Y'all, I, I told you guys I have be turned into a sports otaku and I've been watching Haikyuu, like I said, Yuri on Ice, Run With The Wind, and there's some others on my list, but definitely Run With The Wind. That anime just, I watched the video where I talk about it. If you've watched it, it is absolutely amazing. I think that's it for my anime tag questions. Hopefully you guys will do this. I will put the questions in the description of this video. I was all over the place, but that's that's the fun part about these videos. They don't have to, they don't gotta be all pl planned out and perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video and feel free to answer any of the questions in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts and feelings and just everything about you. You know. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Peace.